Robbie, a week into pre-season, now how's everything gone from your perspective so far? Yeah, it's gone well. Um, in general terms, we came back to Rochdale last Wednesday, the boys did a bit of testing and um, some physical work and then we travelled up to Scotland on Sunday and brought the weather up with us uh, from terms of what you'd normally expect to see in Rochdale. It's, um, it's been wet but it's been really enjoyable, the boys have been working ever so hard, facilities are really good and yeah it's been so far a very successful trip in my opinion. How important was it for you to get a few days away with the players? I think it is important, I think it's um, firstly it gives you a little bit of a mental break from being at the training ground every day in the same routine um, secondly with the new players that we brought in they can actually get to know the staff, get to know the players and, and vice versa really in, a, in an environment which we live in each other's pockets for four or five days so um, really enjoyed that aspect to get to know the players and I'm sure that we you know, will benefit later down the line from this trip away. You mentioned those new players, Cameron John joined us uh, up in Scotland this week, just get your thoughts on, on how pleased you are to get him in and what you can bring to the team. Well yeah, definitely, so Cameron is a player that I've liked for a long time, obviously um, had his injury issues last year but you know, he, he's, he's passed our medical, he's, he's fully fit and he's raring to go and um, he'll give great balance to the team, um, he's quick, he's athletic. He can play in a couple of positions, which I like as well, because it gives us flexibility. You know, I've always said I want to bring quality, and maybe not so many bodies into the squad. So having players that can play in one or two positions can can really benefit the squad. Um, but he seems a really bubbly boy as well, really really lively, settled into the group really well. Um, so yeah, we're, we're looking forward to getting him up to speed. His training program looks a little bit different to the other boys that are, that have been with us for for the whole part of pre-season. Um, but he'll train this morning with the rest of the squad and we look forward to seeing him. How pleased are you overall with the recruitment that we've done so far? Today? Yeah, I think it goes to show that um, what a little bit of planning can do. We didn't really have that option when I first came into the job a year, nearly a year ago, I guess. Um, and there was aspects to, to recruitment that I wanted to try and get right in this, in this window. I had in my mind where the team maybe struggled a little bit last year, but also Three parts of recruitment was important to me, so bringing in some experience, some know-how of the level and people have had success at the level for one. Bringing in those early to mid, mid-range 20 player, year old players that we can um, improve, who might have a point to prove as well to other people, but we think that we can develop and maybe them kick on in their career, so that's a platform for them to really to aim for and obviously a little bit later on in the window we'll look at the, the loan market again, um, had loads of discussions with clubs, very difficult with the loans in terms of um, parent clubs don't usually want them to, to leave the, the pre-season training camp where they are because the players that, um, that are in my mind and the clubs I'm talking to will have lots of internationals who have been away so they obviously don't report back till later which has a knock-on effect for those players coming out of the parent club so like you said there was three parts of my recruitment um, I think we've got the experience in the building now with Richard, Ethan, uh, Toombs and obviously with Devante and Cameron at that mid-range, 20 age, ready to kick on so yeah I'm quite happy. You sort of mentioned that, that loan market then, is it a case of sort of almost playing a waiting game now because we've still got sort of the whole of July? It works, August, the yeah it works both ways to be honest, so I'm in talks with a couple of players with their parent clubs. Um, now it might be a case we can strike the deal but he's the, the stay where they are for example and, and do pre-season with them so you know well, obviously all our fans will want to know who those players are but we, we won't be letting that out I've got to keep my cards close to my chest on that one and then the other, the other side of it is yeah there's, there'll be some surprises you think of um, last summer we, we got a couple of players late in the in the window I think a couple even after the first game came on the radar so all those players that are out of contract who think that they're holding out to clubs in higher divisions, to see everybody else back at pre-season now and they get a little bit twitchy and the phone starts ringing again. So um, I'm really pleased with the business we've done. I'm in uh, no hurry to keep adding, 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 but yeah, we do need a couple more bodies. You talked about sort of players coming in in terms of the players that have left us at the end of last season um, and also kind of Grant who's left us at the start of this pre-season, just sort of get you, your overall thoughts on, on those players. Yeah, I mean, again, that's part of the recruitment and process. We have a succession plan for players that may leave. I was fully aware when um, we did our retained and release list at the end of the season that some of those players, if not all, which is the case, would, would look elsewhere. And 
if you take it case by case, Owen's stepped up a level to a really big club, so absolutely fantastic move for him. Same with Corey in terms of moving up a division. Dools has got a fantastic offer on the table from Harrogate and Max the same at Stevenage, so um, absolutely no hard feelings. I was in touch with them all through the process. Um, you know, it's, it's really nice when players move on, but they give you a ring to thank you for the time, anything I could do to help in the future. So absolutely no issues with that. They go with our blessing and hopefully um, kick on in their careers, because I think, think they can. And on the, on the basis of Connor as well, um, that, that, that was a difficult one for me because I didn't want Connor to leave. You know, I, I thought he would be an integral part of our team this year, but um, the contract situation with him from how he came into Sheffield Wednesday, which was before my time, before the board's time, sort of led us into a position which we, we couldn't get out of. And um, with that in mind, we know what we are as a football club and we accept that and we're quite happy that we can bring these talented young players in and give them a platform to move on to bigger and better things. But I saw some of the reports in, in the press and I was getting phone calls about this club bidding X amount of millions and it's just nonsense. You know, there was a, there was a contract in place, MK Dons, activated the right to, to have a, a talk with Connor and of course then he makes the decision to move so again spoke to him on the evening, spoke to him before the move, absolutely fantastic for him, um, really pleased he's got the opportunity to play higher up and I think he'll kick on again because he's a, he's a really talented player so um, the job is to replace him and we will look in the building first as we always do and then potentially outside the building um, later on in the window. Well you don't necessarily obviously you don't want to lose players do you but I guess what it shows from Connor is that he's, he's had a successful season last season, especially towards the end, and he's, he's got his move from that, and that is a sign that we do develop players at this football club. Well, a hundred percent, and that's a, a huge selling point for the club. And uh, my background and Jimmy's background um, is to develop young players. So um, where we were very very young last year as a team, um, I think that they needed a little bit more senior help on the pitch, which is what we've tried to bring into the building and. You'll see some of our young players flourish this year. I've got no doubt about that. But you're right. Our one of our main um, targets as a club is to to produce players to sell on because that's how we, how we survive. And um, Connor's a great example of that. The year that we've had with him, the development we've put into him, the fact that he started to be a really key player in those last dozen games or so. Um, quite rightly, he's caught the eye of a of a club and. I think it's a, good, it's a good fit for him and I told him that and he, again he goes with our blessing but I think it's a little bit unhelpful sometimes when people just put out nonsense in, in the press and say it's this amount of millions, it doesn't help me, it doesn't help the club. Um, we keep it all in house but yeah it was it was a situation that just arised and we were backed into a corner with it really. In terms of uh, a player who's here um, with the squad at the moment, not out on the training pitch, Devon Campbell, he's still going through a bit of his, his rehab process, isn't he? Where's he up to at the moment? Yes, yeah, so Tav, his, his original injury, um, the first set of scans didn't really pick up how serious it was. It was, it was quite a significant injury that he picked up. Um, so Tav's with us, we, we try to keep him as involved as possible, like we do every injured player. They're in team meetings, for example, they're, they're in around the players, because it's, it's a lonely journey. Um, when you're injured. So yeah, Tav's doing his rehab with us in Scotland. He's got another scan later this week. Hopefully he gets good news then. He can start his rehab on the grass from then on. But um, we, we just got to be careful. We don't want him breaking down. We want to fit Tav on. And when he is, he'll be a real real asset to the club. The games programme starts this Friday with the game at, at Burnley, pre-season schedule. Um, how much are you looking forward to that, to getting him back into the friendlies now? I think the players are looking forward to it more because, uh, in general, the games are easier than the training that we give them in pre-season. So, um, yeah, I think obviously I was at the the fixtures release um, breakfast with the, with the sponsors and, and people from the club the other week, and I think once you get that first game in your mind, it's it's countdown time. And these games are all about that. Um, we went through pre-season really successfully last year and picked up some good results. Doesn't mean anything when you go into that first league game, but. It's habits on the training pitch, it's fitness, it's um, making sure that the players get through unscathed. The most important thing is we have a, a fully fit squad come that very first game at home. So um, it's just another step in the journey in, in pre season to make sure that the players are, 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 are one, mentally ready, but two, obviously physically ready. You just mentioned that fixture release sort of breakfast then. What do you make of the, the schedule and the, sort of the opening games? And the... It's a tough start and. Um, 
but I'd like to be at home, and we are. So that's really that's a really positive thing. Um, hopefully, we get off to a to a flyer. But every other manager and every other team in the division saying exactly the same thing. So we'll go about our business. I'm not one to to, to go shouting from the rooftops about what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. I think we're going to be really competitive. I like what I've done in the market, and there's more to come in. But also that the players we've kept as well. So um, yeah, we're looking at the moment on track for where I want to be and it's, like you said there'll be more bodies coming into the building but only with quality that I want.